Yeah, first, I'd like to echo the thanks that Coach Bessler said. Uh, this is an awesome way to kick off uh, a new football season. It, we have great coverage here, and it, it's just a lot of fun to get together uh, with the coaches uh, before we start the season, before we start competing. Um, and I'd like, like, like to also thank my coaches. Um, I feel like we have a really good group of men that are, are leading our program uh, back at Northwestern. Uh, they're a lot of fun to work with. They really care about our players, and they, they do a really great job of, of helping those guys grow and be their best. Uh, we return a, a majority of our players uh, who have played the last couple seasons for us. Uh, we've been a really young team the past two years, and uh, we're excited to get these guys to their juniors and senior years and uh, really feel like we have a mature team on the football field. Um, we return nine starters on offense. Uh, we return six starters on defense, and, and all of our specialists are back. Uh, this year as well. Um, we feel like our depth is probably the, the best we've had uh, over the years. Um, we feel like we've had a really good recruiting class again this, this past year. Uh, so we feel like we have some freshmen that can come in and, and push and compete with, with some of the guys that we have that have even played the last two years. Um, defensively, uh, I think it starts for us at our linebackers. We returned three of our starters at linebacker. Uh, ben Grantzer was a true freshman starter for us. Uh, but really, it starts for us defensively with, with Sean Powell and Tanner Mahachek. Uh, Tanner is a, a, they're both four-year starters for us. Uh, Tanner's been a three-time all-conference player. Uh, he will be a three-time captain for us, which will be the first time in program history that we've had a three-time captain. Um, Sean is a two-year all-conference guy, and, and also he'll be a two-time two captain for us. Uh, both of those guys are, are really our playmakers and our tone setters on defense. Um, and both of those guys really finished the spring playing their best football. So it's really exciting to see uh, what those guys will be able to do this fall. Um, in the secondary return, Noah Van Hoff and Garrett Seiler. Uh, both of those guys started as a freshman and sophomore for us last year. Our nickel was Liam Stubby. Uh, Liam was a freshman that played nickel for us. He'll move out to corner. Um, we lost Bryce Van Beek at safety. Bryce uh, made a lot of plays for us over the last two years. Um, but we had a semester transfer in Jake Lynott from West Sioux, and uh, Jake's a phenomenal athlete, a phenomenal uh, young man. It's going to be a lot of fun to see uh, what he can do on the field over these next four years. Uh, offensively, we returned four, <coughs> uh, four of our five starters up front, um, and we have two other young men that started uh, multiple games for us up front as well. Um, the offensive line is really anchored by Paxton DeHaan. Paxton's uh, one of the best old linemen that, that we've had at Northwestern that I've been around, and um, it'll be nice to have him back for another year. Uh, return three guys who played tight end for us. Uh, Josh Fackema, Kobe Lugins, Brady Mosier. All three of those young men played significant uh, time for us at tight end last year. Um, and we're, the majority of our production offensively is back. Um, Jacob Caligonis is back. He's been a four-year starter at running back. Um, I think he's the best running back we've ever had at Northwestern. Um, you know, he has a chance to be our all-time leading rusher after this season. Um, Tyson Coyne was back for his junior year at quarterback. Um, he should be our all-time leading passer at Northwestern about halfway through this season. Um, and then we also returned Shane Solberg at, rece at receiver. Uh, Shane was second to Connor Niles, which I think everybody in the country at every level of football was behind Connor Niles last year in, in receiving. Uh, Shane's an outstanding competitor. He's probably the most humble and hardworking kid that I've been around. Um, and he should be our all-time leading receiver um, you know, shortly into this season as well. Uh, so we feel like we've got some really good production coming back, uh, as well as some other key players, Cannon Floors, uh, Matt Williams, Cade Mosier, guys who contributed on offense as well. Um, so we feel like we have a, a good core back on both sides of the football. Um, what, what excites me most about our players is, is the culture that they've built over these four years. Uh, this was the third season in a row that we've been a scholar team. Uh, and that's a testament to the, their attitude and the work that they put in uh, in the field, uh, off the field, in the classroom. Uh, we, we've got a really good group of young men uh, that, that really work hard and they're fun to be around. Um, just a, a quick story. So last spring, T Tanner Mahachek, uh, one of our linebackers, uh, came to me and his mom, there's a coworker that works with his mom, and she uh, makes comfort bags for patients going through chemotherapy. And, Tanner thought it'd be a really good idea for uh, our program to uh, try to, you know, gain items that we can, you know, collect items that we can distribute and, and help her make these comfort bags. So we used our spring game as an opportunity to put it on social media. Um, 
it was probably the coldest spring game that I've been a part of. Uh, we had one of our bigger crowds and we were able to collect bins upon bins upon bins of items uh, to make these comfort bags and, and really make a difference. And it, so it's fun to see and to work with guys like Tanner who, uh, yeah, make a difference and are, make a positive difference on the people around them. Uh, we're really excited about this fall. We feel like we have a good group, a good core, and uh, just excited to see what this fall brings. Any questions? Yeah. Coach, you mentioned all that you have coming back and where you are in the preseason and where you finished last year. Do you feel this is a team that can contend for a national title? Uh, that, that's a long ways away. His question was, do we feel like we have a team that can contend for a national title? Um, I, you know, I think the big thing is, is we have players who have played in a lot of big games coming back. Uh, so they have that experience. They've had some valuable experience. Um, last season didn't end the way we wanted it to. Um, you know, after the game, the first thing we told our guys was that loss hurt, but uh, it was in our best interest. And how can we learn from this and grow from this? And any success we have down the road was because we lost uh, that game. And our guys have really uh, had a focused mindset and they've been able to lock in every day and work hard. And, uh, and it's a hungry group. And I, I know our guys are hungry and excited to get rolling. Um, receivers out there who uh, might be a part of this, uh, this, this offense. Does Dan have a person that just can't, he can't just run? Yeah, you know, I think Shane Solberg, um, I think he, he's a, a threat to score really anytime he get, touches the football. Um, Cade Mosier played significant minutes as a freshman last year, was kind of a down the field threat for us. Uh, Cannon Floors uh, and Armani Johnson also are two guys who, who got some, some playing time for us last year. Uh, we feel like we have some pretty good depth and we just need to spread the football around. What about, what about you about the defense? What are some tendencies on defense, things that don't like for the next year on defense and Yeah, so you asked about our defense and things that we do. You know, we, we feel like we allow our guys to play fast on defense. Um, we let those guys play aggressive. Um, and we, we just want to be an attacking defense. And I think that allows our guys to, to play fast and be successful defensively. Yeah, you know, I, I think Shane, the, the one thing about Shane is is there hasn't been one player on our team that's worked harder than him this offseason. And he, he he really tries to perfect his craft. I really feel like Shane's best years are ahead of him yet. Um, and so that's really exciting from our standpoint is just being able to see what he can do in these coming two seasons. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned Jake Lineup. What, what do you see him playing the secondary? You said the absolute very yeah, so Shane joined us in the spring, so he's got to go through spring football, or not Shane, Jake, Jake joined us in the spring, and, uh, you know, Jake Lineout is a, is a tremendous athlete, and he'll, he'll impact, he'll start at safety for us this fall, and uh, we'll use him in the return game, we may try to get him on the offensive side of the ball and get the ball in his hands, because he is a pretty explosive athlete. Um, but yeah, right now he, he's he's leading the start at safety for us and then Phil Bryson big spot. And kind of on the line line with the point about, you know, he had a great season last year. It's just you know, he's only sophomore last year. How much better have you seen him get? How much better can he be? Because you know, we had you know one person had a better season in the conference last year was Holmes. So how much better do you feel uh going into this? You know, I think Tyson is there's still room to grow. Um you know, he, he's had to play a lot of games for us as a freshman and sophomore, and just being able to mature and learn the offense and, and have that valuable experience and playing some big games, uh, those are just all valuable experiences that have, have built up for him and, and have allowed him to grow as a quarterback. Um, and it's been fun. You can see him continue to improve, um, and, and that, that's, that's what we're looking for. And, and I still think there's that yeah, he can take his game to another level. Where's Jess? What does he need to improve? Well, <laughs> that's a good question. Um, you know, I think sometimes just trusting the, the guys around him, uh, sometimes doesn't have to throw a, a touchdown pass on every play. Um, you know, checking it down, our running back would tell him he, he needs to check the ball down to him more. Um, so I feel like, you know, you can do that a little bit and trust your running back to make some plays for you. Um, 
But you know, Tyson's an all, he's a great competitor. Um, he's got a little bit of that Brett Favre attitude where he feels like he can make every throw, and he can most of the time. Um, but that's the type of guy you want back there. All right, any other questions? Thanks.